Uh, I've got my friends uh, Kyphon and Usa. They're both here. And we're going to be doing a tier list review, which obviously you know because you clicked on the title. So I'm going to stop talking and we're going to get into it. Uh, or a tier list review, weapon review. Shut up, me. I'll do. I'll fix it in post. Anyways, so uh, light weapon tier list. So I will say I'll preface this for each section that I go into. Um, these are my personal thoughts on the weapons as well as my friends, um, and like they're relatively rudimentary combos. Um, I have used. I basically I've organized them in categories by how much I've used them. So you can basically take if I haven't used it a lot and if it's in blue, you can probably take whatever I say with a grain of salt. And if I if it's in red, then I've probably got a pretty decent opinion on what it is. Um, and that'll be the same thing for every every section hereafter. Um, and what you can do is there'll be there'll be timestamps or not timestamps, but those little chapter section things for each sing, each single thing. And at the end of the video, I will just have the completed tier list that you can look at if you want to skip to the end there. All right, enjoy the video. All right, so um, okay, this is the the burst pistol. What are our thoughts on the burst pistol? I haven't used it that much. The only reason I've ever even picked it up is because I have used it for challenges. Um, mostly because it would be like, hey, deal pistol damage, and there's not a ton of pistols in the game. Uh, what do you guys think of it? I also haven't used it that much. I don't have much experience with the first pistol. Uh, I don't... I, it doesn't... Do we, do we know? Hmm. I simply don't like burst weapons. I, honestly, I mean, I think that the damage is... It's, it's fine. Like, it's nothing I'm going crazy for. It's just... Out of the light weapons, it's just it's pretty mid. It's not yeah, like it's it not a weapon like that I would much. go, There's don't use don't this, like... it's horrible. It's just pretty it's just pretty okay, honestly. My thoughts is C tier. I I don't think I could put anything above it. Again, I haven't used it that much, but when I have used it, it's just been alright. Like it, it feels like a weapon that is very easily outclassed by every other light weapon pretty easily. Um, but I, I mean, I even like burst weapons in games, and I don't even really care for it. Um, I don't really, I never found myself using it, and even the, like, I think I used it once or twice, and I was just kind of like, eh, about it. Mm -hmm. Um, you know. Okay, yeah. so the next one up is the, is the dagger. All right, so I have some thoughts about the dagger. I personally am a very, I'm, I, I really enjoy the dagger. I think it combos really, really well with invisibility, and I know you can also use dashes with it. But I gotta say, I absolutely love the dagger. I think it is really fun. I think it's one of the only weapons in the game with so much potential, um, but its power is almost entirely and completely decided by the enemies you play against. If they do not show you their back, you don't get kills with the dagger. I, barring light classes, you can kind of catch up to them and hit them because it's only three swipes and it swings pretty fast. But like heavies, you have to swing like eight times and that's like one two three it, like you so on and so forth you get the idea but it's a really slow kill i think the dagger though personally i want to say s tier right well i want it should be a tier. i what were you saying clevin i'm saying a tier that's simply because it's an enjoyable weapon to use mm -hmm. i i also think it's got the power to boot but again it's hard to say s tier when the weapon is so dependent on, yeah, 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 on the enemies say, yeah yeah as much as i want to put it in s tier i don't think i can reasonably put it in s tier because it's just if the enemies don't let you get the kills you're not going to get them right that's kind of the problem i would say um i mean you can get lucky and some of the backstabs are kind of like insane like how on earth did you get those I was gonna say, I, I think the dagger's either a B or A tier. I think the dagger, you need to be really creative with it. I think you need to, mm -hmm. you know, figure out actually. I feel like you need to actually find out your instead of just shoot, shoot, shoot like you do the most enemies. You have to actually think about. I can't get near that guy because I'm a light. You, a it's guy. a very oh. waiting weapon. It is exactly like it's. It, it, it can be so very rough. It, it, like it, like because there's all so many times where it feels like there's scenarios where you're kind of locked out because there's just like. Because because with the dagger, the most opportune thing to do is just kind of wait and like right. wait for them to show their backs too. Because if, mm -hmm. if they it, like as from was saying before, if they're an intelligent player and they know the game, they see you with the dagger and go, "All right, I'm never showing you my back. right." Like, the, the, that's there are some circumstances where you can just kind of ignore them. 
like um, if they're ever busy doing something like cash outs and stuff, or if they're reviving, one of my favorite things to do is when somebody's reviving, if they're really close to the revive, they'll commit to it. But if you jump over them and immediately turn, you can get the backstab instantly killing them. And it's really effective. It's really good at cutting people off and taking the objective. Uh, but again, it's dependent entirely if the enemies allow you to do it, right? I mean, even with yeah. heavies, it won't insta-kill them. And, you know, if they're using a sledgehammer, they might still kill you, right? There's no guarantees. Yeah. You have to play it really well. But the Mac 11, uh, I don't have a lot of experience using that. Uh, as I've said before, um, I know you have a lot more experience than I do. So what are your thoughts on it? I'll let you go first. Yeah, I I know with the Mac 11, I have to, it's my favorite light weapon. It is the one I primarily use. I It's the base one, right? It's the, mm -hmm. I mean, it's the one you start with. That's the one you start it with. Is, yeah. yeah, it is so fun. <laughs> Incredibly high damage. Holy shit. You just burst down anyone as long as you can hit them. But it's also an SMG, so I mean... Makes sense, You don't yeah. need that crazy. And from what I know, it has pretty controllable recoil and has really good hip fire, uh -huh. yeah? Like, I mean, yeah, just you... I mean, come on. Use it with dashes, and like, as long as you're using your dashes right, it's so hard for them to kill you. Yeah. Um, you feel like you feel like an even better Tracer, because because <laughs> you have more ammo in the clip. Uh, yeah. Tracer from Overwatch, I mean... I mean, I I I think it's either A or S tier because it's just such high damage because it doesn't like you can even shoot from a medium distance and or mid the mid range distance and still get good damage out of it if yeah. you need to. I mean, will um, this? You think this? I think I think uh, the Mac 11 will probably be our first S tier. Well, the thing is, is I don't know. I mean, I think it, it's tough to say because I don't want to rank them too highly, and I haven't used it personally. From what I can tell, it's good. I would probably rank it alongside like the MP5 because they're basically the same weapon. You know what? Yeah, yeah we're we're just gonna rank them at the same time because the MP5 and the Mac 11, as much as you might not want to accept it, they're basically the same weapon. They've got similar recoil patterns. This has less bullets. This has more bullets. I mean, but they're very similar weapons. I would say that the Mac 11 is probably a little bit better than the MP5. Um, and I've used the MP5 a little bit, and I know they're pretty similar. So I'm gonna say probably yeah, A tier. Like they're good um they're solid weapons they obviously with the dagger it doesn't rely on them you know giving you their backs but um i think they're just they're just weapons you know they're they're smgs they're nothing crazy but i think mainly they're just nothing they're nothing special you know they're 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 just pretty standard they're pretty standard weapons yeah oh i agree just Clyphon, do you have any uh before we move on Clyphon, do you have any uh, <laughs> thoughts on the smgs no no well, also, by the way, uh, by the way, the the uh, the Mac 11 does count as a does count of a it does count as a pistol. Found that out. You does do it really? Any, yeah, it counts as a pistol. Oh my um, god! No kidding. Well, I know what I'm going to yeah. be doing to finishing to finish those challenges now. That's awesome. <laughs> Anyways, so um, this next one. Oh, F -tier. we know it. F tier. You're putting that in F tier. <laughs> F tier. Are right, are you putting in um, F tier because you don't like the F weapon? Or maybe... That oh. thing has caused me so much strife. It's, it's overpowered. Like... I. It's definitively. Oh we. It's just so overpowered. Um. I mean. Okay. So the the thing I don't like about it is that the dagger has a lot of requirements to get insta kills this one is the dagger with two shots and it does the exact same thing but you can hit them from any angle you and you just have to be close to them and that's it mind you if you don't know how to use it it will straight it'll do nothing it'll do nothing if you don't know how to use it but if you know how to oh, use it so it bursty. instantly so kills bursty. you it's insane yeah. how because when i use the weapon i'll do like 20 damage i'm like wow this thing sucks and then anytime i run into somebody with it i instantly die when they hit me and it's like wow that is I do not know how to use this weapon, and it's very clear. Um, honestly, do, are we putting it in F tier because we just don't like it? No, well, I don't. I don't. What is because the tier list is based off power, right? How I think if it? it's based off power because it's yeah, so it's overpowered, power, I think we're gonna have tier. to. I think it's reasonably so we have power. to put it in S tier. But that's yeah. not because I because like we've it. We've also hold on. We've also been judging it based off our own experiences, and also how we feel about the weapons. True. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think in general, if I, I want if, if I want to judge it by its power, right? If you're oh, judging by power right and like, let's put it at B and call that a day. I don't. I. It's not even about I, just like. I mean, yeah, I, I, I I rank this one based off like of it. what I thought its power was because I yeah, most of the time so most yeah. of the time the power yeah. and how much you like the weapon are going to be on very similar tiers. So I think in this case, because it's true, the shotgun is incredibly powerful. I think we want to throw it in S. Um, okay, what about the pistol? I personally have not had much success in using it, but it 
really is powerful. Oh, it cooks people. So I was it cooks say, people. Every time, every time I go up against it, I get obliterated. Every time. Um, I swear, it just demolishes me. Um, the people who know how to use it know how to use it. I, for some reason, can't, like, click while moving in the finals. It's really weird. Um, like, I just can't figure it out. It's like, it really confuses me for some reason. Or I just don't, I haven't used it that much. I know that it's, I know that it's definitely a really solid weapon. Like, its damage is really good. And again, it's silenced, which is just like, hey, I mean, people are still going to hear it, but they'll hear it from a little bit less distance, right? Maybe it sounds kind of cool. I think we can pretty reasonably, in the hands of somebody who uses it well, do we i mean i think we say a tier i don't think it's an s i, I think a s tier. is almost it's reserved tier, for yeah. weapons that make me want to tear my hair out because that's the definition of a really good weapon um i mean not a good designed weapon but a really good weapon powerful weapon i'd say i think i think a is a pretty reasonable one um but just for the sake that it's not an smg i'll throw it right here i'll put it right by i'll put it right above the dagger um the sword the sword i have some mixed opinions about uh -huh. but combined with dashes it is so powerful. It does have, what the dagger wishes it can do. So there's, much. There's one. There's one guy. One light like, class we fought that I. I think you know is on Monaco. I'm not gonna say the mm -hmm. name of course, but I think you remember. They or no was it, no was it Monaco? Was it that Las Vegas game with Meb? Um, Bro, I don't even know. Your, I've had so many times was, where there's just been a guy with a sword and yeah. dashes, and he's yes, wiped the entire know, team. And, no, no, you, you like, you look at their like their team stats, and it's like, okay, their heavy has like f f four kills. Their medium has they like, have thirty. Three. It's like okay, and then, what yeah, they literally here? have like sixteen kills. And it's like, it's okay. just it's. In, I think it's inherently. I think the sword is inherently not very. Like I think it is powerful. I just think that the sword combined with dashes is so unreasonably powerful with how much movement and invulnerability frames it gives you it's just so because that's the thing sword dash in a melee which you can do instantly by the way does the same damage as like not the same damage as the dagger but it one hits lights and it basic and it two hits mediums and it's really easy because they can't kill you within a certain amount of time so i'm gonna say for the sake of it both of these weapons are powerful because of the dash and both of these weapons are going into s because of it because they are just very very powerful yeah okay any thoughts on the uh, rapier before you continue Clifton? yeah yeah clifton do you have any i don't know what he said i think he says in s tier yeah i i no i don't think that it belongs in s tier oh, you don't okay where do you think it belongs oh, uh, yeah please explain yeah i i think personally it it goes right next to the dagger really? or below Dag dagger really right next um, to the dagger or below yes um mainly because for one there's a reason that we don't see people use it mm. it's because i see people use it and when they do use it they're I, good. yes i do yes but that's only because that is they're like oh I really like this one weapon. I'm going to only use this one weapon and become really good at it. Fair, fair. But it's just, I think the main thing yeah, is, is... But any of these weapons, you can do that with. Right. No, it's, I, it's true. It's the people that stick with that. And it's they true. Don't... That is true. Where you also, friend, you, you do play at a really high tier. So, I, I, mean, I don't play at a really high tier, but when the, when I run into... We, we, I think we very often go against emeralds. Okay, yes, we do very often go against emeralds. But I will say, just in general, like, I've used the sword. I genuinely think it is an S weapon because of all of the one-hitting potential, specifically against lights, some of the most difficult classes to kill because they can run away, but since you're a light, you're really good at killing them. I mean, it's got good damage. I, I think it belongs in S primarily because the ceiling is so high with the weapon i've seen what it can do you know melee weapons have something that other yeah, weapons but do not but that's have. the problem is that it has a high ceiling which makes high me ceiling, want to which, it. high ceiling is not a bad thing you know if a weapon is if a weapon has a high ceiling and you can reach it pretty reasonably it can still be a very powerful weapon it's just the type of weapon that you have to get used to and you have to learn that's not that's not something that's going to drop its tier. It's not difficult to use the sword. It is really easy. I haven't used it because I'm not a big fan of it, but it's not a difficult weapon to learn. All you have to do is just like there's a couple of like jumping techs and dashing and then you like because you have like the charge up thing where you charge up and then jump and then dash. like it's you I think it's you charge up, 
dash uh charge up you you do you do the sword dash then you jump and then you do a normal dash and it sends you flying it's not a difficult thing to do right and i think that's why it belongs in s i'll put it behind the shotgun though i'll put it behind the shotgun just because it you can't do what you can with the m with the okay the sword can do what the mac 11 and mp5 and pistol wish they could do you cannot kill an entire team of people with with any of these weapons without having to take so much time to reload them the sword doesn't need to reload the shotgun can one hit people like it's it's there it really is okay let's move on let's not stick on the same one for too long okay this is the lh1 i think it is uh basically an m1 grand i have used this weapon a decent amount i like it uh what are your guys thoughts on it I, it I i think it's oh, a pretty beast? solid i was thinking too i was I, yeah. I, yeah that's exactly what i was thinking this one's a pretty simple one basic weapon no no good sight the iron sights I think are kind of most mid. of most of the rest of them kind of just belong in b i i think i have to put the I, i'm tempted to put the i'm tempted to put the throwing knives into a just because it i think you're right in some cases where the ceiling is so high that it does knock it down a notch um but these throwing knives can do so much damage and they never have to reload uh it does make them genuinely insane to go against if you play against players who know how to use it because the headshots do they you basically one head one shot headshot lights and you throw so many blades like it is it is genuinely like disgusting at times and again like the sniper like i think i think the the best thing to place these is this is pretty basic i mean it's just it's a it's a it's a rifle it's very solid if you know how to use it it's not like it's not going crazy i think it's just a relatively solid weapon the recurve bow i mean if we're just going to go through these quickly Re recurve bow takes some skill um i think it's it's potentially more powerful than the sniper because of the damage that it does but again the sniper's hit scan the bow is not there's no bullet drop like i think that automatically puts the sniper ahead bow right behind it and i i'm very tempted to say that the throwing knives go right behind the dagger and i think i i really don't think that there's any f tier um light weapons just because light is inherently so powerful none of their weapons yeah. fall they're behind a, it. they're a dps class they're a dps class their entire class is damage and then maneuverability um and it goes dare i say too powerfully together but none of their weapons are bad none of their weapons make me want to vomit um unlike some weapons in the next one which i'm gonna go i'm gonna start with i'm gonna go to our medium medium weapon tier list right. we'll go through we go. light medium, medium and then we'll, we we'll save the best for last i have some thoughts and opinions for these i'm sure you all know these medium weapons relatively well i think we know this one better than the rest oh yeah um oh, that's yeah. something that we're going to talk about we'll get to that um these are this is the composition i've used the dual blades a decent amount i would say a pretty solid amount i've used the ak a, a decent chunk uh f car and then riot shield regrettably that we'll get to that we'll get to that and the rest you get the idea all right so let's start with the dual blades that's what i've got first on the list what are our thoughts on the dual blades i Easy think here you think it's an A tier? A tier? I was thinking B tier. I was I was thinking B tier. Well, okay. In all fairness, it does directly counter lights. And I would say because primarily the dual blades do go kind of That's insane true. against lights using snipers. Because they can't that shoot your true. legs, they can't shoot anything, they can't headshot you, and you can one-shot reflect the bullet. You know what? I will say because of how unique the dual blades are, their damage being relatively decent it's not going to get you out of a pinch honestly you'll probably die before you can kill them that's the problem i have with the dual blades where its damage is almost kind of lacking but i could i could definitely see putting in a tier maybe maybe high b tier i think high b tier is where it goes simply I just low because a -tier. i low a tier we can put it low a tier we'll put it low a tier i think that's fine um, Clyphon, you have enough, you, unless, uh, unless anybody, anybody else has any thoughts on it, because I think it's just in general, it's, it's a, it's a defense weapon that gives you some offense to, uh, and I think it's, it's pretty good because of it, but it's not like, I'm not going crazy for it. You know, it, it definitely has some moments where just like any melee weapon where it really falls off. Um, okay. Anyways, Usa, do, do you have any comments on the dual blades? I don't have any further comments. Yeah. I, I think A is fine. I think I think low I think A, 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 high B. I think 
And because I'm thinking about like how the dual blades works with like support or mm -hmm. like supporting, because that's usually how I see it. I, I always have seen dual blades played with like healing builds. Um, so I, I, I don't just, think it's a bad I, way to do it. Keep yourself alive so you can heal your team. Yeah, I mean, I, it's yeah, not a bad yeah, way to do it. it. Honestly, I, I kind of see I kind of see where you guys are coming from. You know, I don't I don't fully blame you guys. I don't think I think uh, I think dual blades can fit into like an A minus. Um, I think yeah. it, because I just, I just see inherent issues with it. But I guess I'm also I'm also thinking in my head and comparing it to like rapier and stuff. But I also understand it's different classes. So yeah, um, no, it's true. You can't you can't really compare it because the abilities are what makes the weapons powerful. Like for light class specifically, um, if you were to go yeah, give the give the light class the dual blades, the dual blades would be insane. Like they would be genuinely broken. I don't know what on earth you you could do about like anything because they could dash to you, have like twice the health. Yeah, they would they, be I mean, they would have so insane. much. Yeah, because they'd have so much defense as a. It would be yeah. so broken. Okay. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. I don't have a ton of experience with this one, they signified by the purple. But Clyphon, I know you do. What are your thoughts on this weapon? I think I'm gonna take whatever you say and probably go off of that. Um, the grenade launcher. I High, high A tier. Okay, yes. I, I've seen the damage um, fall off. Really it is re it's really three powerful shots. against lights. Um, yeah, it, two shots lights and three shots um, mediums. I Does it three shot me? I thought it was four shot. Really? Those are more direct it shots. It has shot? its splash damage falls off really quickly, but it does have yeah, some versatility that you, the other. So the thing that I've always noticed is that when you're using the grenade launcher, you're either, you're not never fighting at medium ranges. Mm -hmm just doesn't happen mm -hmm. you're either fighting at long range or close range true true in close range you're blowing yourself up but right. it's minimal because you're hitting them mainly right and right. even without directly hitting them i have killed almost everyone that comes after me when i'm just sitting up somewhere just firing them at like a platform that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I also think yeah. that it offers some real power in the fact that medium doesn't have any destructive capabilities pretty much other than the dematerializer and that doesn't destroy. That's just but um, but basically no other medium weapon allows you or basically ability allows you to actually break things. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the only option for breaking things. Um, and you were going to say something, Musa. please go ahead. I wasn't going to say much more. I. I get. I have not had play with it, so I can't. My opinion does not matter as much as like Clyphon's, but I don't see it that much. I usually see it as like a B tier weapon. But honestly, if it does that much damage, I can definitely see it being. If it's in the right hands, I think it is a very solid A tier weapon, especially because it can break things. Um, especially onto the that, and it um, and it has a way that you can you can just shoot over things. Yeah, no, that's true. It, it the the projectiles never explode. It's just impact, so they'll fly until they hit something, which is really cool. Um, something that we'll have to talk yeah, about later is, with the grenade launcher for heavy. Which is why I like the. I much prefer the grenade launcher for the mediums than I do the the heavy uh, well and we'll, we'll get to that one at here well well hold on you're, you're getting ahead of yourself hold on um and i did i did want to do this so i've used this weapon plenty and i've got a pretty easy spot for it it's going into an immediate f oh my this is god i've never seen that weapon it's so bad i've never it's, seen that fruitful it's genuinely I'm, it. I'm gonna give you a little bit of an explanation of it it's damage is horrible its defense is mediocre at best the enemies can always shoot your feet. You cannot crouch while holding out. It is, it's so bad. It is the worst weapon. One, if, if it's not the worst weapon in the finals, it is, it is darn near close. It's certainly, it is it's so certainly near rock bad. bottom. Yeah. It is, it is about as no. bad as you get. They, they really they corrected it with make, the dual blades because the dual blades they will do. Never, they will never make a weapon worse than that shield is at the current moment i can't imagine it would be pretty challenging because here's the thing dual blades oh yeah you if you start deflecting all the bullets that hit you from the front side they all deflect which means they cannot physically shoot you in the legs they can't physically shoot you in the head even if it shows that they can you will deflect it with the bullets the shield it goes nah your shoulders shot your feet gone your ankles are exploded like it's so <laughs> horrendous and Go, it, say goodbye to those toes say goodbye to those ankles man they're gone okay i think this is gonna be this is that's gonna here. i don't that's think this one will be too tough i don't i don't think it's s tier i really don't think it's s tier i think it's damage is i think i mean <sighs> okay here's the here's the thing about it hold on can we just line up all the assault rifles for this because oh. they 
I no, actually, right, I left. I actually I think I have I think I already know where I'm gonna place them, and I don't think I'm putting any of them on the same tier. Um, actually, let's uh, go one by one. Let's go one. By, I, I think we should go one by one. Okay, we'll we'll go one by one. I think this one's fine. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say AK. I don't like it that much. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it's a really boring weapon. It's fine. It has some really cool skins. It has a really nice magazine size. Um, it doesn't have a scope, which is fine, and its recoil is pretty controllable. Um, I think it's generally pretty boring, and its damage only gets overwhelming when there's like two of them shooting at you. As it stands, one AK really doesn't do that much damage. Honestly, I, I find myself uh, really missing another assault rifle when I use the AK, because I just think that there is a definitive better option. Uh, I do think it's not crazy, uh, but I have used it a decent amount, and I can tell you, it's it's I would say it's probably high B. That's my that's my 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 real Ooh, thoughts on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, I haven't used it in a crazy amount. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking probably A tier for me. Okay. Okay. I think the um mm. I could see I just B, don't though. think it's that good. I, just, I just think I think I think you have a point that it's kind of like hit or bust because you just need a, you just need another assault rifle on the team to really make the AK stand out. It just it doesn't like, do that much damage. But if you're focused but, firing, it destroys people. Oh yeah, um, and it's got a lot of bullets too, which definitely helps out. But it just doesn't feel crazy. Clyphe, and your thoughts? It's really good. Oh, it's really sorry, good for suppression go fire. It's it is. Really yeah, it's pretty there. solid. But there's other there's other classes for that. There's other things for suppression fire. I mean, just take the turret, you know, take the turret, you're fine. It's, I guess it does. Is that yeah. it's supposed to be high damage, very small bits of high damage. That's my personal opinion. Is For... that the way that the game is structured is burst damage, mm -hmm. not sustained. Yeah, and, and that's it, what the it, it sustains. Is. It sustains. It doesn't yeah, have a lot of burst. Point. You have to have a point, yeah. I think I think a B is pretty solid. I would I would almost debate putting it in C, but I really don't think it's that bad. I think it's still a pretty solid weapon. I don't have too many problems with it. I think it's okay. Um, I, I've barely used I've barely I, used I, this the FAMAS. I have a simple oh. simple pro, simple problem. Can oh. we just get that last one out of the way and just put it where it belongs? Oh yeah yeah okay we can put that there yeah sure. All right, yeah, that's here. Okay. Okay, yeah. that one that one is pretty easy. Um, it's broken. Mm -hmm. It's a bad. It's a no, broken. Let me, let me, yeah, let me simplify this. Let me simplify this. High damage, good, way too much range for a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Um, and that and that's it. Just yeah. trip. There's high that's DPS. It. Yep. Um, uh, yeah. Kills kills too easily. Uh, too powerful. Um, but yeah, I so have been melted as a tank player. Uh, I have been melted as it's, a heavy. It's I mean, so I've been it's melted. so punishing. By it's one. So punishing. By one. You don't need you don't need multiple. You just I have one guy. Yep. With Yep. Um, yeah. No. Immediate. It, that that is the that is the weapon that does it all for medium. Um. So where do we where do we want to put the what what is it the famas? Um. I I think B. high B. You think? I think I would even say it's better than the AK just because I think it's more fun. I, think, I haven't I, really used it's it. It's more fun. It's more fun. And I think I think yeah, I I've, I've used it like a little bit and it's really fun. Honestly. It's yeah. Really I mean, also stuff. its recoil is really controllable, so it's really good at range. That's I mean, I would say that's that's its main. I would say that's its main asset. It's burst. It's got really controllable recoil, and its iron sights are way nicer than the AK. So I mean, I would definitely say that 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 helps it a lot. All right. Uh, I think that one was a pretty easy one. Let's move on to the next one. So I have a decent amount of experience with this one. And I got to say, definitely better than the AK. Where do we want to put it A or S tier? Because honestly, I'm I really a. do think it's an S tier weapon. Really? I yeah. think it's just A tier. Do you think it's just I, A tier? I don't you use it. I've used it pretty extensively. I think it's just A tier. Really? I mean, it feels... I think S tier is, re is reserved for either weapons that... Because it's... At the end of the day, it's still an assault rifle. Mm -hmm. It's true. It is a little boring, but it's got a scope. It's got smaller magazine size, and the bullet damage feels really nice. It it feels a lot more bursty than the other assault rifles do, even though the FAMAS is a burst is, weapon. It's still, it's still a sustain weapon, which right. just doesn't Although it, it, it Honestly, it feels like it does compete. Close quarters, you hip fire that thing, it kind of goes crazy. That's what I've seen. Well, that's personally. with all weapons. I mean, yeah, but like the AK doesn't do what the what the F card does. It, the F card just does dramatically better damage, and it has a scope, which is really nice for aiming at longer range. So, I mean, honestly, I would say probably I would if we're not gonna put it S, I think probably high A, close to S, because I really do think it's a solid weapon. I mean, Usa, your thoughts? I think it's like 
mid A. I think it's mid like A. Black, really? Middle mid A. a. Yeah, I think I, I think it, I think it's it's a solid weapon. I think it. I, think, I just I think Cliven does have a little bit of a point that I I feel like I find myself wanting a little bit more out of it, like with damage wise. But that could just be my aim. I I, I think in I general know. that's what you're always gonna want from an assault rifle. But I think it is by far the best assault rifle choice for medium. I think it really is where it's at. Um, just I, I just I, I really do think it is just a lot better than a lot of the other than the other assault rifle options. Um, but yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe it is mid A. I'm going to place it high A because I just think that it is really good. Uh, especially, sure, I mean, yeah. I think in the current game, I think it is pretty solid. Uh, and then our final weapon is the revolver. Now you have a lot of experience with the revolver and I know yeah, that it's, it's received, weapon. it's received a lot yeah. of nerfs, um, especially with its damage range, but, uh, I've used it a little bit. Um, I played, I used it for a couple of games, uh, where I pretended to be a cowboy on stream. Thought that was kind of funny. And I'll admit, it's a it's a very solid weapon. You land your shots, and it really does cripple people, especially lights. It drops them, and that it feels oh, yeah. really nice. Um, I mean, I don't think this one's too complicated. It's definitely better than the FAMAS and the AK, and it's definitely better than the the shield. Um, but I would say, I mean, I, are we thinking A tier? Really high B? Really? I think I think its skill ceiling is so possible though. I mean, I think like you can only do so much burst damage with like the AK and then the FAMAS, but like with the revolver, the potential for headshots, like think Cassidy Overwatch. Oh my God, it does so much damage. It That's drops thing, people. You That's land those thing. headshots. I have, I have, I have. The problem is I've... I can't see it being above the swords. Really? You can't see it being above the swords. I think it is distinctly better than the swords. Just because the swords I, I think it's I love the I love both the piss both the revolver and the swords, but mm -hmm. I find myself getting more benefit out of using the swords, deflecting I... bullets and stuff at other people. Yeah. And it's a, and you have to think it's a this is the support class. It's we true. Have it's one true. of the biggest support weapons at the fucking bottom. Yeah, that's well, yeah, I know. I get it. I get it. Only it's not to say that the dual blades are bad. They're still S tier. They're still far beyond these three weapons. Right. But I just I really do think that the revolver in the right hands has I mean, obviously, the shotgun in anyone's hand is going to be overpowered. But I think the revolver in somebody's hands, it has more damage potential than I would say almost every weapon in uh in the mediums roster just by the pure pure sake that it, it really so can much. be powerful and for that reason it's i think so high a. i was thinking a too like i'm not even saying this i i because the reason i like it is because it's just, just so much damage you land the headshot and boom it's like even if you're not killing them you're scaring the crap out of them because yeah and, it, and it, again it's a really good support weapon because it lines them up perfectly to get killed by another one of your teammates it puts them another in such problem a that i have with it is mm. that it has it, yeah, it does have that, but it has so little damage and it takes a while to reload. It doesn't, it's got good damage. Are you talking about like the damage at range? Because it, it has horrible fall off damage. Oh, it is yeah. so oh. bad. You can't use it at range, but that close too. range is very solid. They literally I'm gave talking, the Cassidy I'm Overwatch. Talking range, range, ammo mm. capacity, and um, simply the reload time. I mean, I, honestly, honestly yeah. you have a point, Clyphon. There are so many times I find myself dying because I didn't reload before we went to a fight. I fire two times and I'm dead. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting there on my like, But no, oh, I mean, I'm you dead. count your shots. Um, I guess there's a lot that goes on in the final, so it's hard to say count your shots pretty confidently. But in general, I, I mean, I really do think uh, it's hard to put it. It's, I, it's definitely an A. It's definitely an A. I might put it behind the grenade launcher, but I really think because of how much potential there is from the user. The, uh, um, so the, the thing that I'm saying is mm -hmm. that I... I can see maybe putting it in front of the, the swords, but not in front of the grenade launcher, because the grenade launcher does about the same damage as a body shot from the revolver. It does splash damage, which means it does multiple damages to right, multiple right. targets. And it's got destruction. As well, it's destruction, and mm -hmm. again, um, you can reload one shot and keep firing. Just keep right. doing that. Right. And no, it, I mean, that's fair. Such a short reload time that it's you basically as fast firing. as you would be shooting right right no and i i get that i'm 100 percent behind that i just i just think that it has so much potential i think you kill somebody so much faster with the revolver if you can land your shots than you do with the grenade launcher but i think i think you it might just, be right i it think it depends if you're if you're cracked at the game they're gonna the revolver i think that applies to any weapon though so i think for that for that sake i think we put it right here and i think uh, we call that I think, 
I think we call that the media. I think that's our tier list. Yeah, no C, yeah. no C tier. Yeah, no C tier. I mean, there was no weapon either. They were really either they're pretty solid or they're they're pretty out of here. I mean, honestly, I mean, it's like I could put the AK in C tier. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, won't. Yeah. I won't. I mean, it's God. it's not it like it's not a deserved C tier. It is a really mid weapon, but like it's not a bad weapon. If you want to use the AK, it's going to do fine for you. And finally, the one you've all been waiting all right, for. Here we go. I'm sure yeah. you're very excited. The heavy weapon. So I have a lot more experience with all of these weapons in comparison to all of the other ones. I am a primarily heavy player, heavy and light. And um, I got to say, some of these weapons, I really do love them. Uh, some of the weapons, I think they're pretty okay, but I don't think we're putting a single weapon in even C tier um, or F tier. I don't think any of them belong there. I think they're all very, very solid. Um, mind you, that is, you know. We're going to have some C tiers. Hmm? We're going to have some C tiers. If really? I've, I've... If you have something to say about it. All right, so here's... Here's the ones I've used. Here's the one I've used. So the sledgehammer, I've used it. Spear, used it. Shotgun, I've used it. And finally, the M60. Uh, these ones I have. Uh, I have uh, basically these would basically these would be my red for uh, the mediums um, because I have used them a decent amount. Uh, but the Lewis gun, I have really never been a big fan of, uh, mostly because I do think it's kind of boring. Um, but I know it is definitely very powerful. And the shotgun. I have never been able to use it properly, but oh boy, if you know how to use that shotgun, does it melt people? I I know that that's probably going somewhere with an A or S. Not because I like it and not because I'm good with it, because I know it's got the wumpage. All right, so let's start with the first one. This one, I am happy to put it in S tier. Sledgehammer. We are, well, we're starting off with sledge. I'm wow. sorry, uh, this is just how it, this is just how the cookie crumbled. This is just how I originally set it up. I personally think that the sledgehammer has some drawbacks, but it is the essence of heavy. It it's the weapon you start one with. Yeah. It one shots lights. It basically one shots mediums and you've got high damage on heavies. Oh my God, do I love this weapon? It's got destructive capability. It allows you to do so many things. And of course it, you get screwed over when you run into a light with dashes. But if you stay inside and you use that cover to your advantage, Oh, the things you can do with it. It feels so much like the dagger, except you don't need to be standing behind them to do all of that damage. And for that reason, I can confidently put the sledgehammer in S purely because of the power, destructibility, and the fun that goes behind it. Oh my God. Yeah, I think, I think that's a pretty easy one. That. I mean, if any, if you, if, if people were going to refute me, they'd probably say high A, or if they don't like melee weapons, they'd throw it lower. But I really do think that the sledgehammer, in my opinion, is a fantastic weapon. I do really think it's solid. Uh, this one, it's, it's, I think, really I think you have more experience with this weapon than I do, Usa. So I'll let you leave. It's, my, it's my favorite. My favorite weapon on heavy. It doesn't mm -hmm. have the same destructive capability as sledge. Like it can blow up things. But, but at like, range, I mean, at range. It takes like four shots, I think. Uh, I think it's three. I think it's three to break most things. Yeah, it's um, three. It's usually three shots. But I mean, like, I think the best thing you use for is because you can, like, I think one shot roofs, right? You can just shoot. Yeah, one, roofs roofs are a lot a lot weaker, so you can one shot them with the yeah. with the shotgun. Yeah, and I it's good. The shotgun it has it has range. There's so many times I get that you rarely get to do this heavy. Oh, what? Yes. Huh? Oh, I thought I thought Firm was about to say. Oh something. no no no! Please um, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, uh, but I was gonna say, there's so many times I'll be sitting on a roof, like in like Kyoto, and I like see someone like, what's it called? I'll be like, I'll be, I'll sneak attack them from a roof or something because I'm, sh I'll shoot them and they'll be like, what the hell? And then I'll hook them, bring them in, and it's just like, it's a, it, I mean, come on, shotgun and hook. How it's, that it's is that? Like it's Roadhog, yeah. It's pretty. It, it is, it's yeah, pretty you're classic. Like playing Roadhog. It is so they go so hand in hand. Um, I mean, like you have to play hook with it yeah it's so good no i get that that's exactly how i played it when i originally used it like i couldn't get the winch call to work for me like I, I like i wasn't able to use it and it felt like the sledgehammer like i'd keep hooking people and then they just get away so quickly so i couldn't get the confirmed hit um but yeah with the shotgun it really did feel like it shined uh i would say it's probably probably a mid mid a i think it's good i think it's got versatility which is uh, a definite bonus above a lot of these um a lot of the other weapons where it can it can really get a lot done um but i think it's i think it's a solid weapon depends in the hands um but again it's uh it's got versatility um it's like it's kind of like how we place the grenade launcher uh for medium i think because of its destructibility and the fact that medium doesn't have it it went higher up but because heavy has so much destructibility this is destructibility at range which heavy doesn't have a ton of other than the rocket my main problem with it is its shot deviation 
Uh, aiming, basically, it helps, but its shot deviation is really irritating. Um, you really can't aim with them beyond like a range of like 30 meters without just completely missing and you can't headshot. Oh, all in all, I mean, it's pretty good. Does 100 damage per bullet, which can basically kill lights. When you're going against heavy though, heavy though, four shots feels bad. Oh, it feels bad. Four shots against a heavy when they could be using something like a sledgehammer or pretty much any other of the weapons. It's damage output, pretty small. But I think yeah. for, I think in general, I, I think me after saying that I think either mid or low A. I think I'll set it at low A for now, and we'll just we'll figure out where to put it later. Okay. I think. I, um, mm, please yeah, go. Ahead. I think I think you have a point to have these, but I also usually find that I if I know what the teams are and mm -hmm. while playing uh, shotgun, and we I mean I think this has to have. So can, we haven't really mentioned this, but I think with t right the right team comp. Right, I mean, I it's always team comp, but I mean, I think in general, a lot mm. of people can't make team comps, right? It's not often that people have got an entire set of three to roll into well, the finals with for some for some competitive. True, so. Yeah, I, I, mean, I don't think I don't think that's like that's like a bad still. No, bad, that's not a bad thing. thing. I think there I mean, there's a time and a place for it, and especially in a tier list. But I think in general, for the individual, I think it's generally where we should rank these. Um, I yeah, I think no, because no, I, you I, I can always you can always say like, oh, yeah, this weapon's really good if you use this and this. And if your team does this to force them into a close space, it's like, yeah, of course. But I think sure. in general, yeah. you have to think about if you were doing this alone, what what does it mean? Right. Sure. This one, yeah. um, this one, I have basically no experience with. I barely used it. I talked about it a little bit before we got here. Um, but I actually think that this is a, that I think this is either an A or an S tier weapon because I think it's me. Really? Uh, why I so? Don't think, I don't think it's, I don't think it's too great. Um, I, guys. I don't think it's good. And there's a reason that comparative to the rest of the weapons there, you don't see people running it because oh, no one likes it. My God. But when I, when people know how to use it though, it feel, it, this feels like the sword. This feels like the sword again when people know how to use it oh my god it does so much damage it's what the sled it, it does more damage than the sledgehammer it's got a little bit more range and oh my god it cooks it's it's kind of crazy it's another one of those weapons that if you know how to use it it oh my god it destroys people personally i think i think i'll probably put it a tier um, but I know it's good. I, High A tier. I'd put it be, I'd put it, no, I'd put it below the, I, uh, I could slug not, shotgun. I cannot put it below the, the, the slug shotgun. It is better than the slug shotgun. And I say that with full confidence. I've run into people who know how to use it. The slug shotgun, if you, if these two shotguns got in a fight with each other, two heavies, this one loses a hundred percent of the time. If this person knows what, what they're doing. What are we talking about? I, that's, that, you know, that's a different story, of course, but like in general, yeah, but that's, but that's I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that you can get close to each, that you can use to get close to each other, especially okay, as heavies, also, you can throw up the shield, right? But I, also, I really, a second, a second hmm? thing, a second thing is that. I don't think you're giving the slug shotgun enough credit. It's not it's not even a shotgun. No, and you're right. It is it is more it, of a more of a marksman rifle, be, but it's got pretty yeah. bad shot deviation, which does not help it. I, I have never noticed that. It's so bad. Honestly, it's I, I, genuinely I, I, horrible. I, I honestly friend brought it up. I generally don't use it usually I'm not I'm not annoyed about it. I, I feel it. I feel it. I think I'm probably I, aiming, I, also, I think I'm I probably say, trying to shoot it a little bit too far I, I though. I will also say I will also say a habit of mine, and I know Fred and Clyde might know this, is that I almost never hit Clyde. I'm always aiming down sights with every gun I ever I know and I'm not I'm saying even with aiming down sights because there's still deviation with aiming down sights. There's not a point. It's still a red it's still a crosshair. You can still aim directly no, on top also, of them, and it can still uh, miss. The, there's a problem with that. The finals at crosshair is slightly off. Is it really? Yeah, that's why. So if you look at pro players, since the beginning of the game, they have used special crosshairs, and I do it too when I'm using a non-melee weapon. I had no idea. I guess I use a lot of melee weapons, so I think that that doesn't necessarily help it. But trust me. I've seen this weapon in action. I've seen what it can do. I know the power it has. I, I have to put in high A, not because I like the weapon, not because I know it well, but because I've seen it. Oh, it rings out. Okay, I don't think this one's gonna be too tough. Uh, I know that I know that you do disagree with me a bit on that shotgun, but B. Um, I think it's I think it's solid. 
Um, I think in general, I like it more than the Lewis gun. I think the Lewis gun is probably a little bit more powerful, probably just, just in general, it's got a little bit faster reload speed. They're basically the same weapon. We'll do this at the same time. Um, yeah, we, this has got, it's it actually, I think it has the same damage per second. This one just has more controllable recoil, which makes headshots easier. Um, honestly, it has slightly higher damage. Does it have slightly higher damage? I'm, I thought it was the same. One I, of them has slightly higher damage. It, it's got to be like it's near like, zero of a day. Like it's, it's, I've, I've compared the two and I'm pretty sure the damage was like the same. Um, honestly, I think I'm probably just going to put the Lewis gun ahead just for the sake of like, I know a lot of, a lot more people like it than the M60. I think the M60, I like it more than the Lewis gun, but I think they're both pretty casually, pretty decent. I think a lot of people will disagree with me because I think a lot of people really like the, the Lewis gun. But honestly, I think it's pretty mid. I think it's not the damage output that heavy needs. And there's so many things that outclasses the heavy that you just need that that damage now. Right. And that's that's almost one of the reasons why, you know, the slug shotgun, like it's not higher. Right. Because it's it's down damage output's good, but it's shot shot like that's 200 damage if you land both of them. But man, it, oh, it can feel so slow sometimes um especially yeah. if you miss oh my god um but yeah b another b I agree really there. you think I the flamethrower is b yeah really i i think it destroys teams that stay close together better than a lot of other weapons do Whoa. i think it really capitalizes but it on have the damage i think it does I like it up. oh uh, i think thing. it does uh, i think we've uh, here's the thing i feel like we have a little bit of a biased perspective because mm -hmm. we usually like we like comps where we stick really close together. Like I, I think that is true. When we you're also... fighting one person, I, I just think like with the flamethrower, you can't really miss. It's it's this it's range ha is something to be you know is something to be talked about. But in general, like in the finals, especially competitive, you're running into a lot of there's people in this building, and you walk through that building, and also it completely counters goo. There aren't a lot of people who use the goo gun. If the goo gun had its if if we were if we were ranking the goo gun which we're not right now it'd be s plus 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 minus plus uh because it is so good but you know the flamethrower counters it it's a very strong counter and i think goo is powerful and being able to burn it is but significant the problem, with goo, the problem with that is that if not we like really wanted it. to we could just take smoke no it's entirely true it's entirely true uh but you need a light for that composition and sometimes if you're playing heavy defense you don't want to have a light like it's sometimes sometimes nobody wants to play light and i get that right you want to play mediums and heavies like if you're playing lockdown and you know sometimes there's not space for a light and that's why it kind of sucks but it makes sense i'm glad that the light is smoke grenades so it actually encourages you to want to have them in a goo grenade or in a, like a goo gun team i think uh pretty reasonably though i've used it a decent amount uh not a ton it it's really good against heavies. Yeah, it falls off against uh, against heavy sledgehammer. I don't think and the shotgun. I don't think it's good against heavies. I I think that is the least. That I think it's, good it's against. I think it's, it's good, good it's against heavies. Against I think it's good against heavies because it goes through them. It really does. A lot of times heavy heavies are slow. A lot of times they'll be like right next to each other, and I've seen it. It again. I mean, it. it but the problem people. the problem is right here, is that if you're near a heavy. You don't want to be there. Oh, well, I that think the last place you want as to be a heavy, is near I, a heavy. But with a flamethrower, what else are you gonna do? You can't like you're not gonna hit him from range, right? I I think if we're gonna place but, it no, anywhere, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. It's it's not it's not good against heavies. I I think it's fine well, against here's heavies. The thing, here's the thing about the flamethrower is usually I find that a lot of flamethrower players I fight against have the rocket launcher for burst damage. It's yeah, it's true. Right if you do an intro, it, it, then that's I guess that is something to be mentioned. But it's in general like we're talking about the weapon. But yeah right i mean with every light okay, weapon well, you the can point is we're talking about the weapon yeah. with the class like, no i get it with the class but right the thing, the thing with that is if they're using the rocket launcher then it, that's true that can be said for all of them. that can be said for all of them so it doesn't really change anything um well, I, I really do for the, i feel like it just changed for the rocket launcher i mean not the, i mean the flamethrower because the flamethrower does like area damage essentially and, and so then, does the rocket no i i get what you're saying launcher, but all of yeah. them all of them get more powerful with the rocket launcher like the sledgehammer well, you only have to hit a medium once and then you can just rocket them right yes yes you're, yes you're right but what the point i'm making is that i think it's even far more significant with the flamethrower because i have seen I have seen us play non-heavy compositions. A dude rocket launchers hits us with flamethrower. Two of us are dead, and then the other person. Gets no, like no, and you're right. You're right. It does make an impact. I think in general we want to avoid like 
you know like i was talking earlier with the dashes so i guess yes we are definitely including the class abilities but in general just ranking the weapon yeah i think the i think the rocket launcher is something to be talked about but i do i do think that that definitely sub, uh, submits itself i think it definitely puts itself in a uh clive and i know you disagree I with us below the slug. i i know you would but i, I would i i think really? it's like I, I i find it to be I don't know. It's I, just I it, a, the slug. Okay, I, I want to point a. this out. You go against an entire team. You get jumped by an entire team. The slug shotgun will do nothing for you. The flamethrower might kill might kill a person and lower two of them. No. The slug shotgun will only do damage to one person at a time. This can do damage to the entire team. I I know well, that you can play. Another it. problem is is that you're never usually going. The the only exception to that is our team comp. I no, I'm I'm saying teams clump up. Are, it's not just us. It is not just us. Teams clump up, and I see it, and it cooks them. I'm telling you, the flamethrower is good. I'm going to put it in A above the slug shotgun. It is better. The slug shotgun is great, and it's got versatility. But so does the flamethrower, and also I smoke. Think. Also gas. We haven't even talked about gas. You never have to deal with gas again. A gas on the objective? No, not anymore. Like you never have to deal with gas again with the yeah, flamethrower. You choose I when the it's there. Or not. I honestly, I do, I do. I think, I think I agree with the flamethrower. It's got I versatility like a lot, I think, like I think, similar to the slug shotgun. Right? I think, I think, I think, like, I think, I see flamethrower as like a middle of the road A, and slug is like A minus. I think, like, that's how I see it. So, um, I, I can I'm, see it, and that I just, I'm not, and that's not to say that the slug shotgun isn't powerful. I don't want to talk that weapon down because it's got some wumpage, right? I'm not the best with it, but it's got some oomph. The flamethrower. Oh man, does it, it, it's just very, it's just very, very solid. That's my main, that's my main comment on it. Anyways, um, to just to move on to not take too long, the spear. What are our thoughts yes. on the spear? Clyphon, I knew you were going to have some opinions on it. Is that, is that it? Is it just S? Do you have any, what, what would you say your main reasons are behind it? Because I, I don't know if I would personally rank it S. Well, so what you're ranking it off of is simply what, uh, what all of these weapons we've been ranking off of fighting one person uh, well maybe not the necessarily that well well the, it doesn't the flame do thrower, it the best right but it does it a lot better than the flamethrower in my opinion i does, uh, yeah i could see it i could uh, no, i don't know man i and the, because the spear doesn't have the versatility of... that the flamethrower does the spear's just a spear Right, that's the only thing it does. The only thing it does is spear. The flamethrower does like four things, and it's really, it's really good at what it does when it does it. The spear, yes, I think. But I fucking, I despise the flamethrower because it just doesn't do enough damage for me. I, for spear, you maybe, you, but in general, I think it I does. Have, I have learned how to use the spear, and mm -hmm. I wipe teams with it. I have seen yeah, it. Yes, I, think, I know it helps. I, it helps a lot. You throw enemies into a blender, and you you cut mm -hmm, them in half. Mm -hmm. I think the spear I, is actually a really good weapon. I think for heavy, I have I have noticed that it always feels like anytime I've seen like he gets those kills, it's because either a friend or me did. It's because we've lowered their health a little bit, and it's yeah, damaged. it's not. It's not that's I thing. just want to make it clear. It's not, it's not like the spear's doing no, it all no, on its own. No, because um, you you guys have only seen. I have wiped five people teams with that weapon. Yes, and I have Multiple also times. watched you do a spear spin and not hit a single hit the person you're in front of a single time. <laughs> it's so it's so, it's so debatable. People? Like it's either gonna destroy no, them or no, it's not even no. gonna hit like them. The dagger. It feels like the dagger. I want to talk about this. I want to I want to further my Please. explanation. You've only seen me use this when I didn't know how to use the spear spin, but now that I do, I know how to kill and hit people multiple times in a single spin. Okay, okay. Listen, I, I personally, I guess I haven't personally seen it. I'll take your word for it. I do agree that the spear is definitely good. Um, I think just for the sake of it, uh, I do think I'm going to put the spear in high A. I'm going to put it in high A right behind the sledgehammer because I don't, yeah, you you make a very fair point. I think my main problem and, with it is also, that also also when you're when you're fighting on the objective of not just um not just um doing competitive but doing mm -hmm. like the oh uh, a power shift yes it is very very power solid shift. for power shift yes I that I that insane. I will agree with you it is insane for especially power especially on the maps on especially on maps where you can get high ground and, and then you can uh, charge and slam like, and then you can do the shield and then yeah. you can do the spin no I agree I I definitely I'm not disagreeing with you but I think in general uh, I think my main problem with it and not putting it in S is that it only does one thing it only does spear 
right? I think the flamethrower, if it was damage alone, it would be B, right? I think the sledgehammer, if it was damage alone, it would be A. But I put it in S because of what it can do. The spear doesn't have that destructive capability. It doesn't have. It doesn't open up it has the doors. Range. It has a it little bit damage. of range. And I would say, yeah, I would say high damage. Oh no, the first two attacks have uh, medium range, and then the last. And attack then the last one is further. Yeah, yeah. Is, um, yeah, and no, it's and it's made, and it gives it you some lunge as well. It gives you some lunge and well, and it's got some pretty fast attacks. But I really, I really do think that because it doesn't have any, because for heavy, it's really nice to be able to like you're getting shot at, break the floor, then they can't get you because you fall down a level, right? I think that's the reason why I put the sledgehammer higher. I think I'm gonna put it high A simply because it just spears, but it's really good at spearing, right? It's very, very good at spearing. Mm -hmm. Um, and saving. Uh, you can the, leave the you know you can leave the grenade. I'm not sure where it is. What? You can leave it where it is. An F. Really? You think F? Just leave it where it is. You want this in F? I have used Okay, He has. I will make Clyphon has No, no, I know I know Clyphon has used it. So many times. And it just doesn't work. Yeah. As much as I want it to work, it just doesn't for heavy. I yeah, I think the main issue I have with it is it's out out of all of these weapons other than like range restraints, and that's always gonna be a problem. All of these weapons will function at close range. This weapon if it's if somebody the gets close only, to you, you just the die. The only option that you have is blow with yourself that is up. using you, not no, just fucking having the uh, charge. charge. Yeah, you it. need the charge and slam with the and that, and it's very limiting because it feels like you kind of have to have the charge and slam, and it's only useful the, in some really specific only, circumstances. The only difference that I will ever say is that you should, the only fun time to use it is when you're playing power shift and you're fucking that's miles true off. that's true i do enjoy that i've done that personally and it is pretty fun in general though i think I, you're I, right i will go into power shift and use just their grenade launcher flash bangs grenades <laughs> and pyro bombs yes and just keep throwing and things. just keep shelling the objective you know i almost i almost kind of wish i had a d tier because it doesn't it doesn't feel f but it definitely no, is not c f. It's definitely not C, and for that reason, I think it's gonna have to go F. I I don't F, hate yeah. the weapon. I wouldn't even put it in a D tier. I think I, I know, think its I versatility like weapon, is decent, but it just doesn't work. I you're right, you're right. I think if it's I I think it kind of needs to have like impact projectiles or projectiles. No, because impact is impact is too. It's, it's too it's similar too to the other one. one. I know, but the issue, it, like, it bounces. It's so hard to hit sometimes. It's like, I don't know, man. If you're trying to clear an objective and there's people in it, that's if they're standing close to each other, it can cook them, but, like, it doesn't It doesn't go crazy. Um, but, yeah, I think... I think that's I think that's what we've got. Real quick, I'll go through all of them. If you want to see them right at the end of the video, this is what we've got for heavy. Uh, this is what we've got for light. And finally, this is what we've got for medium. Uh, if you didn't agree with us, that's fine. Just tell me what you thought in the comments, and um, we can discuss it. And there we if all you'd know like. that my 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 opinions were the correct options. Right. So if um, you agreed with Clyphon every time, just um, just yeah, hit the hit I the chat with that Clyphon was right. <laughs> yeah. How about the, if, if you agree with Clyphon? If you agree with Clyphon, give the video a like. If you agree with Friend, give the give video a like. Yeah. If you if you agree with me, like, subscribe, and comment that I'm the coolest right. person. Right. Yeah, that ever. seems really that seems um, really balanced. I'm glad we'll be able to differentiate between the people who liked me and the people who liked you. Actually, yeah, no, that's hold the really, on, hold that's on. The if you if you if you agreed with my opinions, give the video a dislike. Oh yeah, please. Yeah. Okay. Clive oh, wants you to dislike the video. I want you to like the video, and I think Uso wants you to subscribe and like and comment because he's a greedy piece of trash. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hate this. I hate these guys. And yeah, these were some of our opinions. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and you can't disagree with my sledgehammer placement because my I love it. It's great. It's, am it's amazing.